Hi everybody, so today we are going to be talking about satellite cells, okay? And these are the satellite cells that we find in the nervous system. There are satellite cells that you find in muscle. So these are type of glial cells. And if you recall, glial cells, the reason they're called glial cells is when all these types of cells in the nervous system that were not neurons were found, they thought they just provided support. Now these are also known as the astrocytes of the PNS. Remember, actual astrocytes are found in the CNS. These are found in the PNS. The satellite cells are found in the PNS, but they kind of have the same function as astrocytes, okay? So here's the thing though. Astrocytes, if you recall, are star-shaped and they have arms. These don't have arms and they're actually polygonal shaped. So if you remember, polygonal means that it has at least three sides three straight sides and three angles, right? So that's the, they're gonna be polygonal shaped. They're flat also. And they also do not play a role in the blood-brain barrier. Obviously, because they're gonna be in the PNS, right? So they don't play a role in the blood-brain barrier, okay? So what do they do? They're gonna be responsible for helping with injury repair in the PNS, right? And they're also gonna play a role in chronic pain. And we'll talk about this in just a little bit. They're gonna play a role in support, like we said, right? Just like your astrocytes do. And they're gonna play a role in homeostasis. So the role they're going to play in homeostasis, so there's gonna be three of them, and it's gonna be just like astrocytes. So if you wanna get an idea for the role, um, you have to see my astrocytes video. But in homeostasis, they're gonna play a role and regulating the amount of glucose that neurons get. They're gonna play a role in the amount of ions in an area, right? Especially potassium. And they're gonna play a role in neurotransmitters and making sure that there's not excess neurotransmitters that are around. So that's a basic rundown of the difference between satellite cells and astrocytes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this over here. And let's go to right about here. Now, if we look, I have a spinal column here and I have a spinal cord here. We're looking at the spinal cord here as if we're looking from superior to inferior, okay? And this right here is going to be my dorsal root ganglion, okay? So if it's dorsal, this is my posterior side. This is going to be my anterior side. So here's what's going to happen here. That's my dorsal root ganglion. And if you recall, a ganglion is going to be made up of cell bodies. Okay, so we're gonna have this unipolar, I'm sorry, pseudo-unipolar neuron coming through here, right? So we're gonna call this pseudo-unipolar neuron, right? And if you recall, pseudo-unipolar neurons have an axon on each end. And this is going to be the cell body right here. So what's going to happen is your satellite cells are going to cover this cell body. So let's go like this and draw this down here. And here's my pseudo-unipolar neuron, right? And, it's, and this is going to be the cell body of this neuron right here. So there's my cell body. Now. Like we said, what's going to happen is my satellite cells are going to envelope this. So like a, this is the cell body. And then we're gonna have satellite cells that can surround this whole thing like this. Okay, I'm not gonna draw all of them, but for the most part, it can surround this whole thing. All right, so these would be my satellite cells. Now, I'm only drawing this in the dorsal root ganglion, but it's also gonna be in the other areas we're gonna look at in just a minute, because it's gonna play a role in the autonomic nervous system, okay? Here's the thing too I'm gonna go into real quick. If we get damage to a nerve, what'll happen is these satellite cells can release things such as cytokines, tumor necrotic factor, chemokines, interleukins, things such as that, and what they can do is those, those substances will go to another neuron, and what they'll do is they can actually cause chronic pain. So satellite cells actually play a role in chronic pain, like we said. Satellite cells will also play a role in turning acute pain 
into a chronic pain. So that's another role that they play. Let's look at the other locations where they're found though. We have the autonomic nervous system, which is gonna be made up of my uh, parasympathetic and my sympathetic nervous system. So if we look right here, we're gonna have these round circular structures right here. These are going to be what we call our para-vertebral sympathetic ganglia that go down along the side of the nervous system, right? So that's them right there. Remember, these are the ganglia inside, they have cell bodies, so we're gonna have the satellite cells surrounding those, and it's going to envelope the whole thing. So it's gonna be my paravertebral sympathetic ganglia is also going to have satellite cells. Now, if you also notice, in the front of the spinal column, we're gonna have some other ganglia, and we're gonna call these the pre-vertebral sympathetic ganglia. Okay, so we're gonna have those and they are also going to have satellite cells. Okay, so we got the paravertebral sympathetic ganglia which are going to be alongside the vertebral column and we have the prevertebral sympathetic ganglia which are in front of the spinal column and they contain satellite cells because they're ganglia. They also contain the pseudo unipolar neurons. If you remember, when we get a, the parasympathetic is going to be further away and closer to the organ. So this is going to be an eye right here. And we're gonna call this the terminal, the terminal parasympathetic ganglia. Even though I just drew one, you have, you have more than one of the terminals. So anyways, and there's that there. So again, we're gonna have cell bodies in there and the cell bodies are gonna be surrounded by satellite cells. So that's basically it for satellite cells. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button and we will catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching.